Welcome to our podcast on adolescent moral development. The students involved in this podcast are Bernard McCullough, Patrick Sheehan, Laura O'Sullivan, Ted O'Brien. Our podcast objectives are as follows. We hope to define adolescence, look at Lawrence Kohlberg's work, analyse the Heinz dilemma, look at moral development, and finally, look at a modern day scenario of moral development in play. In the following few slides, we will look to define adolescence. The word adolescence is coined from the Latin verb adolescere, that implies to grow into maturity. Therefore, adolescence can be regarded as a process. More so, it can be described as the period within the lifespan when most of a person's biological, cognitive, psychological and social characteristics are changing from what is typically considered childlike to what is considered adult-like. The textbook definition of adolescence is as follows. It is the period following the onset of puberty during which a young person develops from a child into an adult. Lawrence Kohlberg was an American psychologist best known for his theory on the stages of moral development. These stages are planes of moral adequacy conceived to explain the development of moral reasoning. Created while studying psychology at the University of Chicago, the theory was inspired by the work of Jean Piaget and a fascination with children's reactions to moral dilemmas. Kohlberg's theory holds that moral reasoning has six identifiable developmental stages, each more adequate at responding to moral dilemmas than its predecessor. Lawrence Kohlberg suggested that within these six stages corresponded with three levels of conventional morality, as seen here in the diagram. You can pause the podcast to look at the various stages of Kohlberg's work. Apart from Lawrence Kohlberg's work on the development stages of moral reasoning, he is also famous for a fictional dilemma known as the Heinz Dilemma, which we will portray in the following animation. The Heinz Dilemma Heinz's wife is dying due to a special kind of cancer. There is only one drug which the doctors think might save her. It is a new formula which a pharmaceutical company in the same town has recently discovered. The drug is very expensive to produce, but the pharmaceutical company is charging 10 times the price. Heinz goes to all his family and friends to borrow the money, but he can only collect half of what the drug costs. He tells the CEO of the company that his wife is dying and asks could he sell it for less or pay at another time. But the CEO refuses. He can make no exceptions. The research had been very expensive and the company needs to return a profit. What should Heinz do? Heinz should steal the drug and not go to prison, as this is unfair. Heinz should not steal the drugs, since he would be breaking the law. Or Heinz should steal the drugs and accept any prison sentence. You're probably thinking which option is the right one. From a theoretical point of view, it is not important what the participant thinks Heinz should do. Kohlberg's theory heeds the notion that the justification from the participant is what offers the most significance. During adolescence, the brain goes under a huge amount of development, in particular the prefrontal cortex. This area of the brain is responsible for a range of high-level cognitive activity. This area is highly involved in decision-making, inhibiting inappropriate behaviours and social interaction alongside social awareness. Grey matter volume throughout adolescence increases dramatically and peaks in early adolescence. Adolescents are less sensitive to dopamine as there is a temporary imbalance in the prefrontal cortex, therefore this leads to high risk taking as they have less ability to control their responses. Adolescents are still learning to use their developing brain networks, so we can think of the adolescent brain as work in progress, moving towards 
the development of an adult brain. Adolescents in this period of time are sensation seeking. This can generate positive as well as negative behaviours. Factors affecting adolescent moral development. Teens must make moral judgments on a daily basis. When children are younger, their family, culture and religion greatly influence their moral decision making. If we think back to your own period of adolescence, or you may be currently going through this period now, how much time did we spend with your parents and family on a daily basis? Studies such as the My World survey have found that 75% of adolescents say they would confide with peers over their immediate family during the early adolescent period. Peers have a much greater influence. Peer pressure can exert a powerful influence because friends play a more significant role in teens' lives. Furthermore, the new ability to think abstractly enables youth to recognise that rules are simply created by other people. As a result, teens begin to question the absolute authority of parents, schools, government and other traditional institutions. Now we'll look at a modern day scenario which demonstrates adolescence moral development. John and Rachel have been texting and dating for quite a while. John now feels that they have been going out for long enough and asks Rachel can he have a more intimate picture sent to him. Rachel now faces a moral dilemma which will question her moral reasoning. Rachel now has a few options. Does Rachel send the picture as she's proud of her body and doesn't see the big deal? Does Rachel not send the picture as she feels this would be a violation of her privacy? Or should Rachel get to know John a bit better before she sends the intimate picture? In today's podcast, we have learned that adolescence is a period of time in which our bodies physiological and psychological makeup goes through a massive amount of, of development, where our morals and beliefs are shaped as we transition into adulthood. We have seen that environment, peers and culture can have huge bearing on our moral judgement. This can have either positive or detrimental effects depending on the extent to which they influence on the individual's adolescent moral development. Thanks for listening! <laughs> I didn't think